The whole world is talking about AI, what it can do and what it cannot. Is it empowering the human or is it a danger for whole humanity? I am sure you too have heard about AI tools like ChatGPT and it is not uncommon for researchers to think if AI can write the entire research paper or in some way help in publishing the research faster. Most researchers have a doubt in their mind whether it is ethical to use AI for writing their manuscript to save time and efforts. Also, should AI be cited as an author or acknowledged for its usage? Hello friends, you are watching research and publishing series of Explore Bio and in today's video I will try to answer all these questions related to AI in scientific writing. So watch the video till the end. We all know how important publishing our research is. If you have ever written a research article, you must agree how much time it takes to draft and come up with the final version of manuscript that can be uploaded for publishing. Researchers spend several weeks to even months compiling data, writing, editing and revising a manuscript. A researcher needs to take care of grammatical errors, usage of appropriate words, frame suitable sentences and maintain the flow for readers to understand while keeping it scientifically sound. At the same time, plagiarism with previously published research data must be checked. Then only a manuscript becomes suitable for peer review process. You can learn more about these topics in my research and publishing playlist. So the first question is whether AI tool can write a research paper on its own. To answer this, one must understand that AI does not write and analyze on its own, rather its responses are based upon the questions we, the humans, ask. Based on the human input, it searches the accessible online databases and produces appropriate response. The important thing here is to consider that the response will change depending upon how clearly, specifically, you ask and instruct the tool to generate an output. As AI tools are limited by human inputs, they cannot write the discussion section, which is the most creative and original part of the scientific article and greatly depends upon the scientist's own style and individual way of thinking. Also, it may not access all the literature due to subscription policies of several journals. Also, if you want to look for references, it may reply with irrelevant source information. If you read author guidelines given by the journal publishers, it says that AI tools should only be used to improve the language of scientific writing and human readability. It should not be used to analyze the data or draw insights. It is the sole responsibility of the author and not any AI tool about the authenticity of the content of the research work. Therefore, authors must use AI tools with utmost diligence and responsibility, and usage of any AI tool for scientific writing should not be stated as an author for the paper. However, any usage of AI tools during manuscript writing must be declared by the authors. Publishers like Elsevier ask for a statement that should be placed in a new section entitled Declaration of Generative AI and AI-Assisted Technologies in Writing Process. Here, authors mention the name of AI tool and the reason for its use, after which the authors declare that after using this tool or service, the authors reviewed and edited the content as needed and takes full responsibility for the content of the publication. If authors have not used any AI tool or service, then there is no need to add such section or this statement. Some authors may think that disclosing the usage of AI could diminish or lower the value of their own work and might even decide not to disclose such information. But authors should understand that the role or usage of AI is just limited to improving the language which does not lower their credibility, rather improves the readability of the paper. Therefore, authors should not hide if they have used AI tool for writing purpose because accepted papers would be checked automatically by AI systems for the degree of AI contribution in the work in future. If substantial AI involvement were found to be present but not priorly reported, this might require the authors to provide a corrigenda or even the necessity of the paper being retracted. Therefore, it is wise as well as essential to disclose if any AI was used. I hope you have understood that there is no harm in using AI for improving the readability of the manuscript. It is however the ultimate responsibility of the authors about the authenticity of the work and they must declare the use of AI tools or services if applicable. So that's all for the today's video. If you want to know more about different AI tools, do mention in the comment section. I will try to make video on it. Do check out my playlist on research and publishing, it will definitely help you in your publication journey. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay informed about my latest uploads. Thanks and see you in my next video.